Santa Ana was on the march. He was coming to San Antonio to avenge General Casas' defeat. Sam Houston ordered Colonel James Bowie and his men to destroy the Alamo. The mission turned fort could not be defended, but Bowie and his men decided to stay. Colonel William Travis and recruits joined the men at the Alamo, and Bowie and Travis shared the command of the forces there until Bowie became very ill. The Texans urgently needed volunteers. Tejanos and Anglos alike came to defend San Antonio and all of Texas. Juan Seguin, James Butler Bonham, and others rode out to Goliad and Gonzales, pleading for help. Additional help came with the legendary frontier fighter David Crockett. He and his Tennessee volunteers marched in to join the fight for freedom. Then Santa Ana arrived at the Alamo. Santa Ana surrounded San Antonio, and for 13 days Mexican cannonballs bombarded the Alamo. Defenders fired the cannons. They fought bravely, but soon Mexican soldiers were over the walls. Fighting raged and Travis fell. Bowie died on a sickbed. But what if Crockett? Most historians believe he died along with the other defenders. But one Mexican soldier reported that Crockett tried to surrender. Still, Santa Ana ordered all defenders to be put to death. Then word came that Fannin's troops had been captured near Coleto Creek. The troops were ordered by the Mexican soldiers to march back to Goliad. Later, they were executed by a firing squad. Sam Houston wanted revenge, but he knew he needed to bide his time. His troops were not ready for the Mexican army. Houston, who'd been staying in Gonzales, ordered the town abandoned and burned. Those living near Gonzales heard of Houston's retreat and Santa Ana's advancement. These settlers fled their homes, heading across the Sabine River in the runaway scrape. Santa Ana set out in pursuit of Sam Houston, burning the town of Harrisburg in his wake. Houston's retreat and Santa Ana's advancement finally came to an end. After Houston and his army crossed Buffalo Bayou and hunkered down on the plains of San Jacinto, they waited for Santa Ana and his army. There on April 21st, he and his troops, shouting Remember the Alamo, Remember Goliad, encountered the Mexican forces and won a stunning victory. Texas was free of Mexico. Its freedom won in one of the most decisive battles in history. As Santa Ana marched across Texas, some Texans had gathered to write the Texas Declaration of Independence. On March 2, 1836, they voted to declare Texas independent of Mexico. Soon they wrote a constitution for Texas and declared it a republic. After Houston's success at San Jacinto, Texas ensured its independence with the Treaties of Velasco.